In this video, I'm going to be giving you a full step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can set up and start using the Coinbase wallet today. Now, I'm going to be covering everything you need to know about the Coinbase wallet, so make sure you watch this video all the way to the end so you don't miss any important details. So to start with, we will actually have to download the Coinbase wallet, and there's three different ways in which we can go about doing this. The first way is for iOS on the App Store, the second way is on the Google Play Store for Android, and the third way is on the Chrome Web Store for your computer. So it doesn't actually matter whether you're using an iPhone, an Android or your computer, you'll be able to start setting up the Coinbase wallet. Now this tutorial is going to be covering the Coinbase wallet mobile version on my iPhone. However, the process will be pretty much the same across all devices. So you'll be able to follow this tutorial no matter which device you're using. So as you can see, I've searched for Coinbase wallet here in the iOS app store, and I'm just going to go ahead and download it. Okay, so it's now downloading and I'll be back in a second once it's done. So as you can see, we've now opened up the app. And we have two options. We can either create a new wallet or you can choose I already have a wallet. Now I'm assuming for most of you this will be your first time using the Coinbase wallet so I'm going to choose create new wallet. However if you did want to import an existing wallet you can do that with the option below. From here we're going to have to create a password and it's asking us to put in six digits. From there we can even claim a free username from Coinbase. You see a crypto wallet is usually a load of numbers and letters so they're offering us a free username which we can use instead of using our crypto wallet address. So I'm going to click claim my username. And from here we can choose whatever we want. So I've just typed in my channel name as my username and once this is created that means we can now send money to touchwithjames.cb.id and it will go to my Coinbase wallet address. So I can click I agree to the subdomain terms and I'm going to click create my username and it's now been claimed so we can click done and from here we've now created our coinbase wallet so now that we've got it set up what do we do from here to start with you want to go into the bottom right corner and click settings and then you want to scroll down and click on security which we can find right here from there we'll be able to see our wallet one at the top and as you can see it says not backed up so you want to click on that and you just need to unlock your wallet with the password we created earlier so from here it tells us to back up our wallet now it's actually going to generate 12 random words for us and if we ever lose access to this wallet we will have to use those 12 words to recover our wallet. So you do want to make sure you back this up and you want to be sure that you don't lose it. Because if in the future if you did lose these 12 words and you also lost access to your wallet that means that you will never be able to get it back. So it's really important that you back this up correctly. Now you can back it up with iCloud however that is not really the safest method of doing this. In my opinion, you should be writing this down on a piece of paper inside of your house and you should keep it somewhere in a secure location. If you have your 12 word seed phrase backed up on something that's online, if you ever get hacked, a hacker may get access to your wallet. So where you can see that box in the middle of the screen, if you go to the right hand side of it, you'll be able to see a little eye icon, which when you click on it, will reveal your 12 word seed phrase. So you just want to write that down and once you've done that, you can click back up manually at the bottom. It's going to ask, did you save all 12 words? And since we did, we're going to go ahead and click yes, and we're going to complete our backup. And from there, we've now backed up our Coinbase wallet. So in order to get started with our Coinbase wallet, we first need to actually add some funds to our account. So in order to do that, we want to be on this assets homepage here, and we can go over to the top right hand corner and look for this blue receive button. From there, we have a few different options on how we can receive crypto and NFTs. We can either choose our Coinbase username, our Ethereum address, our Bitcoin address, our Solana address, or if we want to send other assets, we can click other assets at the bottom to see our Litecoin as well as our Dogecoin address. Now, as you can see with our Ethereum wallet address, it does actually allow transfers from different networks. And these are actually called EVM networks, which stands for Ethereum Virtual Machine. Those icons underneath the Ethereum address are Base, Avalanche, Binance Smart Chain and Polygon. So that means we can also send via those networks to the same address that we use on Ethereum. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to send over some Ethereum on the base network, which if you weren't already aware, is Coinbase's own network. So I'm going to go to my Ethereum address and on the right hand side, I'm going to click that button to copy it. And from there, I'm going to head over to Coinbase and send myself some money. OK, so as you can see, I've now logged into my Coinbase account. And I have some Ethereum in my wallet, which I'm ready to send. Now, if you haven't yet got a Coinbase account or an account with any other centralized exchange, I'll actually include a link to Coinbase in the video description down below, as you will need to sign up for some sort of exchange in order to actually send money to your Coinbase wallet. OK, so once you have your Coinbase account set up and you've got some Ethereum in your account, what we want to do is go over to send. 
and we can now choose to send Ethereum. So I'm going to choose the max amount and we now need to choose a network and a wallet to send to. Now, as I said earlier, I'm going to be sending it via base. And the reason for that is the fees are a lot cheaper. As you can see, just to send crypto, the fees for base is just 1p. However, for Ethereum, it's actually 67p. So it's currently 67 more times expensive to use Ethereum than it is to use base. So from here, we need to paste in the Ethereum address, which we got from Coinbase wallet earlier. Okay, so I've now pasted in that wallet address. And we can also see our Coinbase username, which we set up earlier. So this confirms that it is the correct wallet. So I'm going to click on this here. And from here, I'm just going to choose preview send. And you just want to make sure everything's correct. So I'm sending to this address, which is correct. I'm sending on the base network, which is where I wanted to send it. And this is how much I will be sending. So I'm going to go ahead and click send now. Okay, so I've now sent over that Ethereum and I'll be back in a second when I'm back on Coinbase wallet. Okay, so I'm back in my Coinbase wallet, and as you can see, I've now received my Ethereum on the base network. Now, if you want to use this crypto to buy whatever coin you want, you want to go down to the bottom in the middle and click on Browser. From there, you'll see a list of the top D apps, and you want to click on Uniswap. From here, we can click Connect in the top right corner, and we can connect our Coinbase wallet. And from here, I'm going to have to switch over to the base network, because that's where my crypto is. So, I'm going to click on this here. And I can switch it from Ethereum to base, which is this one. And we can now see my Ethereum in the wallet, as you can see on the right hand side. It shows my balance. So in order to buy any coin you want, you have to select token and you can then paste in the wallet address in this section here. So if you're buying new meme coins that aren't that popular yet, this is what you will have to use to buy them. Now, if you were more interested in buying the popular ones, you can go down to the bottom and click explore. And from here, they will show you trending swaps on base. So here you can see this Boomer coin is quite popular. We can click on it to see more details about it, including the chart. And we can click all to see how it's doing. So if we decided we wanted to buy this, we can simply scroll down and click swap. And from here, we can choose how much we want to buy. So we can either enter in a currency such as one pound, or if we'd rather use Ethereum, we can click that swap arrow on the right hand side and that will change it to Ethereum. From there, you can click find the best price and we can then review our transaction. It shows us how much ETH we will be swapping, which coin we will receive, as well as other useful information such as Coinbase fee and network fee. And in combination, that's just a 9 cents fee. So that is pretty cheap. And if you wanted to swap, you can go ahead and click swap in the bottom right corner. So this has been my step-by-step -step Coinbase wallet tutorial. Hopefully now that you've watched this video, you understand everything you need to know about the Coinbase wallet, including how to use Coinbase wallet, how to fund your account, and you should also know how to buy any coin you want using the Coinbase wallet. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and comment down below to say it helped you out. And also, like and subscribe to see more content like this. Thanks for watching.